I believe that in ASEAN, we settle things by discussion, by negotiation. That is the way ASEAN was formed. So I hope that there, there will always be conflict between nations, especially between neighbors. But the conflict should be resolved through negotiation, arbitration, or maybe a court of law. So that is the, the best way. But uh, sending in warships and uh, uh, making uh, strong statements against each other, that is not the way to solve uh, international conflicts. See, well, the United States is not uh, in South China Sea, but uh, the United States seems to like to provoke confrontation between nations to the point of they are going to war against each other as happened between Ukraine and Russia. When there is a war, then the United States, of course, is a big arms dealer. They produce a lot of arms and they can sell their arms only when there is uh, uh, tension and wars in any region. So when uh, the, the um, speaker of the United States visited Taiwan, that was provocative. And since then, Taiwan has got to improve their military capacity, buying weapons from America. So America has made a profit out of the visit. Then there will be conflicts between Malaysia and China and ASEAN and China. But the way to solve conflicts is not to send battleships, but rather to sit down around a table and discuss. And when you discuss problem, you must be prepared to lose some and win some. You cannot win everything. The other party also must win. So if you are prepared to make concessions, uh, then the, the, the region will be very peaceful and when the region is peaceful, our trade will grow and we all will prosper. I don't think Philippines wants to go and fight against China. It's not, it's not capable of that. And if it does, uh, what happened to Ukraine will happen to the Philippines. I don't think they want that. Countries sometimes become very powerful, but later on, uh, they lose their position. For example, at one time, Britain was the most powerful country in the world with uh, uh, colonies right around the world. But now Britain is no longer the world power that it was. Uh, America has taken its place. But America also cannot expect to remain the world power, the number one world power forever. And they, they have to share it with other countries, for example, with China. And maybe one day China will again become the Middle Kingdom and will be the uh, world power. So long as it doesn't uh, wage war against other countries, uh, we have to accept that China is a very big country, very powerful economically and militarily. And we have to accept that we, have good, that we need good relations with China. I don't think that Chinese uh, can accept what is uh, happening in uh, Ukraine and in the South China Sea also, because uh, I think China wants to trade and grow economically. And when you have tension, you cannot trade, you cannot grow. You are going to waste your money uh, fighting and killing people. I don't think that is China's objective. My suggestion is that we should have a roundtable discussion every year because that is the ASEAN way of solving problems. We don't fight each other. We sit around a table every year to discuss our differences and find solution through discussion, through negotiation. But uh, we should extend that we include the three countries 
in Northeast Asia, namely Japan, Korea, and China. We will have a special meeting every year to solve problems uh, that may uh, be uh, affecting us.